Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That March difficulty. Today we're gonna do the rest of the cat school gear and I'm standing here in the middle of uh, the corpses of my fallen foes. So, the uh, master crafted cat school diagrams, we're gonna be finding those today. We're on Scaliga, on Faro to be precise and I'll show you the location of the armor upgrade diagrams right now. So Faro is the uh, southeasternmost island of Skellige, right over there. And uh, to the south of Trotheim, there's a monster den which we'll uh, need to clear out to get the next bits of uh, diagrams. So let's go inside and take a look. And there seem to be a lot of statues in the middle here. I wonder what they are about. Uh, you know what? Give me a second. I need to check out that... Uh, that symbol in the on the front gate first. There we go. So statue with a dog, and then we have another statue with a harp, I think. That's what that is, probably. Let's take a look around. There's levers around as well. Oh, never mind. I don't even need to solve this. So here are the Baltic crafted uh, armor diagrams. But I am gonna take a quick look around. There seems to be another lever over here. I wonder what these statues are all about. I can't examine them. But let's try this. Okay, so that rotates that statue. They seem to sparkle a bit as well. There's a door here and I can't open. This is interesting. What does this do? So this rotates the one with the harp. Uh, this one then probably rotates the other one. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's rotate him a bit further. Let's put them all in the same direction towards the door. Nothing seems to happen. Oh, but now... Now this one is yellow. Is the other one yellow already as well? <coughs> yes, it is. So that seems to be the correct position. So I'm wondering what the correct position of this one should be then. And there we go. Still red. One more time then. Let's let them look at each other. Now he's yellow as well. Is there a fort statue maybe? Or can I now open the door? Where does this lead? The map is a bit confused. There's another one over here. And there's another door here as well, probably leading to the same room. Let's use that. Doesn't seem to sparkle yet, so let's put it one more time probably. To let him face outward. Ooh, and now, ooh, the door has opened. Hello? Anyone here? That seems to be able to blow open. And there's nothing else here, it seems. And probably probably the other door that opened up. Yeah, it is. So yeah, let's use art. And blow open the ball. There we go. Anyone in here then? There's a chest. Ooh. That's not all that bad. Tiny bit of a puzzle. Without any clue, sadly, the only thing you need to go off is your Witcher senses. But hey, let's go towards the location of the Steel Sword diagram. So, scratch that last thing. Uh, the next part is we're gonna take is the Silver Sword diagram because it's located on the same island for Ro. So let's check the map. So it's right to the east of Harviken. So on the same island as before, so the southeast of uh, Skellige. And right over there next to a quest marker I haven't checked yet, apparently. Uh, so right there on the cliffside is a cave, and that's where we're gonna head into right now. There we go, let's go with Quen. Uh, maybe check out the sign again. I always forget the, to check out the sign here. Hello. And there we go. Thank you, Geralt. Thank you for watching that. And now let's see what we can find inside. Probably right over here. Is that it? In a pot? Is that gonna be it? Give me that. Nope. Hunting trousers. Could be anywhere, but on the left there seems to be something that's just simple hunter trousers. 
seems to be another bag in the corner here. No. Not interested in any of that. So let's go deeper into the ruins. There seems to be simply a single crate here, a single chest, the feline silver sword mastercrafted. Nothing in the other chest, weirdly enough. So let's head to the steel sword diagram. So the last diagram, the steel sword diagram, seems to be located into this uh, inside of this abandoned well ruin. Looks pretty cool actually. With the moon and everything. Uh, I do need to find a way inside. Maybe along the side here. Yeah, let's quickly get inside. Seems like it's even lower than we are right now. Also seems like a lot of dead people around here. Uh, let's take a look around. Just going to quickly show you this area on the map. So we're in uh, Art Skellig, so the center island. And then we have Kertrolde over there on the uh, the west side. Arone. The miners camp and I started out from there and there's a nice path leading up the mountain right towards the uh, ruin over there. And it's a monster den so we're gonna have our hands full. Let's take a look around. Or maybe we don't because there's a chest here. No, okay. Everything else but what we need. Let's blast this thing open. And let's see if we... Oh, hello! A catacomb. And a pretty high leveled one at that not for us because we're level 50 but it was a pretty high level one uh guarding a treasure thank you for all that meteorite silver plate might actually come in handy and there's another chest here nothing we can use at the moment but let's see if we can't drop down here somehow oh yeah okay so there's a, a staircase leading down care gallon there seems to be a chest here as well. Probably not where the diagrams are located. Maybe it is. Yes, indeed it is. Because the marker just shows us where the icon should be. That's probably at the entrance of this place. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Let's now that there's still a material form, let's take care of those cool quickly. Oh, shit. That was a lot of wraith. Never mind that, let's loot all that. Always good loot on rates. Yeah, I can see the prompt, thank you. Thank you very much. And now, yeah, I don't even need to check the uh, sign. This is actually a nice place. It's probably around here somewhere. Not that you really need it now that you know the location of the, uh, the diagram. But hey, it's always a nice touch. But I can't seem to find it. So, never mind. Never mind. Let's go towards the blacksmith. So back at Hattori and Novigrad. Let's see if he can't make that uh, those superior uh, mastercrafted feline swords. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Of course you can be of help. Craft something. Listen, would you craft something for me? So feline steel sword mastercrafted. No problem at all. Too bad about the two dimeridium ingots. I'm gonna need that for my grandmaster gear. But never mind. Feline steel sword, steel sword mastercrafted. There we go. And then the feline silver sword mastercrafted. I needed to buy a flawless ruby for that apparently. So a dimeridium ingots, flawless ruby and powdered monster tissue. So the ruby and the dimeridium ingots are the hardest pieces there. So craft. There we go. So with that done, so let's long. head towards uh, Joanna in uh, Pro Spurge. So, hello, Joanna. No, long time no see, so uh, let's see what you can do for us. Geralt, good of you to come by. Geralt. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Uh, let's see what you can do for me. Uh, I need you to make me some armor. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Really nice witcher armor. So, Mastercrafted feline boots, no problem at all. I think, yeah, hardened leather, dark steel ingot. Uh, nothing in particular over there, so there we go. There's the boots. Then, the Mastercrafted Feline Trousers I can make with no problem. There we go. The Mastercrafted Feline Armor, so three cured Dragonite Ladder. I'm starting to run out of that. Monster Tongue, Monster Hide and two Dimeridium Plates, so craft that. Need to make some extra plates for that. And then finally the Mastercrafted Feline Gauntlets, so hardened leather, dark sealing ingots, leather straps and monster claws. There we go. 
And there we have the complete master crafted feline set. So let's uh, equip that really quickly. So not that big of a difference. The, uh, there, there's a few more metal studs. Uh, and I think those pads on the legs weren't there before and that the collar wasn't there before either. So that's the master crafted feline armor. And there we have one of the swords, pretty nice, and a silver sword. There we go. And then the steel sword has been serrated a bit more. There we go. Look at that. So that's it for the master crafted feline armor. But now we're going to end the episode in Corvo Bianco because I'm going to put that on an armor stand over there. So, back in Corvo Bianco, as promised, a bit of blood and wine in this episode. So, let's use the armor stand and put the mastercrafted feline gear next to the wolf gear. There we go. Look at that. Nicely, nicely. The collection is coming along pretty, pretty nicely. Look at that. Hello, BB. Uh, and with that done, I think I'm going to put up the weapons as well, if I can. Yeah. Here we go. Weapon rack. Let's put a few thingies in. The feline silver sword, master crafted. And then we can. Can I take the lower? Yeah. And the feline steel sword, master crafted. There we go. Look at that. Nicely together on the rack. Uh, and that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't, don't forget to. If you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again, Anomsi, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye.